areas of life. You can express language, but you can't understand it. If you have a lesion in both this area, you can understand the whole. We knew nothing about the cellular function of the hippocampus. And another colleague and I, Alden Spencer, uh, opened up the lot of studies for the hippocampus. Uh, probably not to study the most complex example of memory, uh, but to begin by studying the simplest example. Relatively few nerve cells in the brain, behaviors that are fairly interesting are mediated by less than 100 nerve cells. You can identify <laughs>
you know, and things like people coming to court here. I'm saying if we as a society decide that we want to expose a certain population of our citizens to a certain danger, could we prevent? We've crossed the threshold into a new world where neuroscience is not only evolving medical treatments, but shifting traditional paradigms of meaning. So now the opportunity is to work within the evolving concept of the biology of mind. In my case, I want to, to see whether I could really understand in great detail how that is and why should they use thoughts. much richer than I can evoke at a moment's thought. It has unconscious components. 